really nice. <laughs> okay, let me show you what's happening. Um, Junayo is an app. It's coming to the, to the store. Uh, hopefully not so much. On the new N8. Uh, but also on the, you know, E7, C7 devices uh, when they come out. And um, it's all about augmented reality. It's an open app. So we give out this technology for free to a community of developers, content providers and so on. And they can just take the API and do their thing. And the Süddeutsche Zeitung did one really cool use case, we think, showing also the specialties of the app and the phone. Um, which is, you know, having an interactive magazine. So the Süddeutsche is already a bit beaten up. <laughs> the Süddeutsche is like the New York Times of Germany. Yeah. And this is like the New York Times magazine. So if you show, you know, the, or take the phone and you point it at the magazine, you have all kinds of additional stuff oh, wow. popping up. So in this case, it's a small movie on top of the magazine showing, you know, re revealing who's behind those hands. And it's uh, a German <laughs> actress. So um, another thing is, you know, an, an article about a, a science fiction fun article. Oh, wow. So once you point it to that image, yeah. a 3D object comes, comes up. It shows the moon. The moon is rotating. And there's crazy stuff floating around. It's, the writer is kind of a crazy guy. Yeah. So <laughs> actually, he starts about talking about a three-legged dog who uh, you know, learns to walk, and uh, scientists are taking this to teach robots how to work, uh, walk yeah, when they do that. Like that. So, so, you know, move the phone really. up and down so that it's zoomed. So, yeah, if you, if you rotate or move the magazine, it's all attached to the image, so it just looks like the Harry Potter magic cards. So. It reacts very quickly, too. It seems to react very quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, and actually that's, that's the, the phone is, is really good for this. Um, this is Lena Meyer Landsrud, she, she won the uh, ah. European Song Contest. And, and if you show it to, you know, and this interviews are always about asking questions and she's not allowed to answer. She's only allowed to make gestures. So what I really like is this question, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And this is her answer. And it's maybe not really clear what she's meaning, but looking at, at the overlay, you see hopefully no Botox. <laughs> so, you know, you get all these insights and background information about, about this. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, a nice case is also for the ones that want to see what's the real usage of, you know, you can get insights about what's the answer to the post that you know. So was the, ma was the magazine made for this or the other way around? Like, did they make the magazine? No, the magazine, the magazine it's exists. It's just, just a standard we magazine? Yes. Uh, uh, well, but, but they, they created the content around this oh, um, see, to work with the platform. Uh, yeah, so, you know, it's something that they wanted to try and they were super yeah. happy. I mean, this is, um, the, this is a Bavarian village yeah. and they're planning to do the Olympic Games, the Winter Games. But the, the farmers are against it. And now you know why, because this is how it looks right now. Pointing your phone there, you know, oh. you see how it will look then. It's, uh, it's all full of cars and parking lots. So, what activates that? Does it matter? So, what do it Yeah, it's just the image. So, the camera picks up the image, yeah. and uh, we recognize the image, yeah. and we also then are able to calculate how far the camera is from the image and right. what angle. Yeah. So, it looks like it's part of the magazine itself. And that's a cool thing because you will have. Uh, lots of visual search applications which are also really nice but they basically you take a picture and then you get a web link here you take a picture and then you get a whole experience going on so it recognizes that particular image so that image is kind of registered yeah exactly and you can do use it for all kinds of things for example there was this artist in, in the netherlands who um, can i just take hold of it and check out hmm? can i um do a close-up with the phone. Oh no, this is a yes. zombie game. Yes. This is just being created by some game design students with the same with the same idea. So this is all about you know having your own zombie. Um, it's a nice zombie um, option they call it. So you can take pictures of your friends and when you take a picture it, yeah. it takes the brain and feeds it to your zombie and then it flows. And uh, depending on where you are it does the thing. So yeah. 
Are you impressed, Jay? So yeah, it's, it's very good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You can do it at games, advertising. So, you know, game design. Do you have to set it up to find the new picture? Or is it automatic? In, in the There's nothing that's coming up at the moment? Oh, that I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. At the moment, nothing's coming up. Do I have to set no, it? No, no, it is. Oh, okay. Ah, I see, I see. So, um, this is a Dutch artist, for example. He just sent me this. I haven't saw, seen it before, but... Um, He built, he built this you know, installation somewhere in Holland. He, he built this huge cube and um, he used the platform to add additional experiences to his, his artwork. So, and, and I like this. I mean, she's probably 50. And you know, she takes her phone and points at it and then sees some additional stuff. I don't actually know what, because I don't see it. He just sent me this. But, you know, yeah, yeah. 